Good evening once again. I'm Matt Mulcahy. Tonight, new fundraising efforts in central New York to benefit those in New York City. Happening at St. Sophia's Greek Orthodox Church this weekend along Waring Road in Syracuse, neighbors have launched a fundraising campaign there to help rebuild St. Nicholas's Greek Orthodox Church in Lower Manhattan, one of the places destroyed during the September 11th attacks. Now at 10, our Samantha German went to the church to learn more about their fundraising efforts. Here at St. Sophia, it's all about giving back to St. Nicholas, which is the Greek Orthodox Church in New York City that was completely destroyed during the 9-11 attack. Here they're selling their famous dishes like honey puffs and baklava, all for an amazing cause. This is what a normal day looks like at a Greek Orthodox Church during the week. Candles are lit, and there's a still yet peaceful presence in the sanctuary, much like the one here at St. Sophia in Syracuse. But 14 years ago, no one would have ever imagined a place of faith would be destroyed for years to come. I remember going to the office following that, and we were glued to the TV that day. I mean, not too much work got done that day. It was just unbelievable. St. Sophia watched in horror as their sister church, St. Nicholas, once wedged between the Twin Towers and the bustling atmosphere of New York City, was leveled. A lot of people went there, whether not just Greek Orthodox, but who worked in the area, they would go in and light a candle and uh, just to have a moment's peace in that frantic world that we live in and everything. And it really brought solace. And 14 years later, that same solace and theme of resurrection are carrying the rebuilding and healing process forward, not only for church members in New York City, but also here in Syracuse. Rebuilding is like new life. It, it's, it's a new coming, a new life, and with even more meaning, you know, when you take so you have something taken away from you, you really start appreciating everything a lot more. The rebuilding of St. Nicholas is supposed to be finished by fall of 2016. And if you weren't able to make it out to tonight's event, that's okay, because fundraising efforts will continue both Saturday and Sunday afternoon. Reporting in Sarah Hughes, I'm Samantha German.